this is going to be our uh, uh, new sections we're going to be doing here overtime pay so overtime pay is going to be section 1.2 now remember when we talked about uh, this chapter this chapter has i, I told you like around uh, has uh, seven sections and we're going to be working section by section and this seven we're not going to skip because this is uh, the standard uh, knowledge that you need to know uh, in the week before we talked about straight time pay okay where we we uh, we got paid for our job on an hourly basis for example we worked for 10 hours uh, we get paid um, yeah, for those 10 hours but what about now if we go to the next section if the next section here for example it talks about uh, the overtime pay maybe most of you knows what a, a, an overtime pay so you're going to be using vocabularies for example like uh, time and a half double time uh, so what does it mean time and a half and a double time so probably you guys know that already um, when 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 we let's say work after the certain number of hours for example in the state let's talk about the state the state they require you to work 40 hours for example most of the businesses 90 percent 99 percent of the business or, or maybe less than that, let's say 90 percent of the businesses they expect you to work 40 hours per week okay so when when you get hired as a full-time worker they expect you to work 40 hours so let's say you get paid let's say 20,000 hour okay so 20,000 hour and if you work for 40 hours so you multiply 20 times 40 okay so you get what paid eight hundred dollars per week now <clears throat> let's say they ask you to work an extra 10 hours on top of on top of the 40. this extra 10 hours will be considered as an overtime now to be unfair they're gonna say you know what since you work above the 40 hours we're gonna pay you overtime overtime means what your 10 hours it becomes a different number actually okay so if they decided to give you time and a half they would consider your 10 hours slack working for 15 hours you know we're going to pay you 20 dollars yes but not we're not going to pay you for the 10 dollars uh, for the 10 hours sorry we're going to pay you for the 15 hours why because they promised to give you a time and a half all right so what does it mean that means each each hour that you, you actually work they consider it as hour and a half okay now some companies they say you know what if you come in on the weekend let's say sunday for example for them and they say you know what we're going to reward you by giving you double time double times mean what if you work on that day for let's say 10 hours on that day they consider it as you've been working for 20 hours okay so you get paid for 20 hours instead of for 10 hours okay so this is an actual number of hours 10 but they say you know what since you came in and you worked for us on the weekend we're gonna reward you by doubling your number of hours and you get paid for that by the way so a lot of people like to do that a lot of people in the states they prefer to work for overtime uh, so because they know they could make more money this way okay so that's what we're going to be doing in this section uh, it's fun it's interesting so you know you will learn new things here now something called weekly time cards okay so weekly time card in this, those sections we're going to be using them together sometimes we're going to be combining two sections together so we have a weekly time card for example here we're going to be calculating the number of hours so let's say this person or this employer employee came in to work on monday and he came in on uh, let's say uh, uh, around 8 15 and he left for a lunch break on 12 15 came back at one o'clock and went home at five o'clock so a, a, a time machine for example you remember here uh, there's just showing you a table i mean nobody uses them uh, manually these days everything is done uh, electronically so by a thumbprint or a face recognition so when you, you come in from you know to work usually there's a machine that you know uh, either use a thumb uh, thumbprint or 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 a face uh, recognition so it shows you know that you came in at 8 15 and then it does like, the calculation by itself so you can see the difference between 12 15 and 8 15 is four hours and uh, the difference between 5 p.m and 1 p.m is four hours so the total number of hours that you work on that day is eight hours and it does it for tuesday it does it for wednesday thursday and friday okay remember this is you know united states so the first day in the week is monday last day in the week is friday 
So, and then the machine is going to calculate all the, the number of hours that you work. So, you, they could, you could see that uh, uh, this employee worked for 40 hours, exactly 40 hours. Okay. So, now he's going to be paid for the 40 hours that he worked. So, let's say if he if he is offered uh, a pay this of, like I said, uh, $20, he's going to be getting an $800 at the end of this week. Okay. This is what the time card is. All right. Now. Uh, in class, we're going to be doing the calculation. I'm going to show you. By the way, there's rules for it. You know, uh, we go, I mean, it's hard to do it in here, but, uh, you know, we calculate by 15 minutes, right? So, for example, um, let's say here, for example, look at 8.35. 8.15 is easy. 8.30 is easy. 8.35, what do we consider that? Do we consider that the, the employee came in at 8.35? No. The machine does not do that. The machine goes as 8.30. It's, it, it goes down by five minutes. So it will consider it as he came in at 8.30. Now, the same thing here. He's out by 12.50. So the closest 15 minutes to it is the 12.45. This needs to be done in school. Okay, I, I won't lie to you. So this needs to be done in school. And it, it, it's fun, by the way. A lot of students, they enjoy this one. They use, even they use as we ask me to have it in, on our test on exams, you know. So we'll, 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 I'll show you this in school and that's it. That's uh, the two sections that we're going to be doing that week. Okay. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.